Hallelujah. Amen. We shall hear the scripture reading from the book of Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Romans chapter 13, verse 11, Sister Adasa. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Sister Kamala, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Brother Kujo, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Amen. Grace and peace. May you please rise for the reading of the words. The first scripture reading is taken from Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Amen. Romans uh, chapter 13, verse 11. Grace and peace. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Amen. Amen. The next Bible reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. It says, Awake to righteousness, and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Lord, I thank you for your word that we've read and your word that is going to be preached. Please open up every heart that is going to hear this word. May it find a place to grow and flourish. Cause us to become all that you want us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. If the Lord indeed has been good to all of us, why don't we show that by a loud clap, a loud clap. Let people hear and know that there are humans here. Amen. Let them hear you. Let them hear you loud. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. All the time. 2020 was not a year that you and I encountered COVID-19 alone. 2020, we encountered so much horror. Witness a human being whose neck, another person who calls himself a human being, put his knee on that neck and suffocated that human being to death. Witness that. Witness so many killings from city to state People being killed for no reason. It was as if Satan was running rampant. He was on a rampage. Along with that, rose up a group who also got into the streets demonstrating and protesting. There was a lot of violence in most of the cities demonstrating against the injustice but that turned out into something else and so certain demands were placed on so many then came up a culture called the woke culture and that woke culture made so many demands there were some of them that meant the pulling down of structures structures that predated the birth of so many of the people who were in the streets destroying them. There were those also who were saying that they were canceling culture, long standing cultures, even divine culture, where God said, A man shall leave his father and mother and go and join to his wife, and the two shall be one. They felt like that was something that was imported by certain people or brought upon us by certain people. So it has to be changed. So no longer man and woman, but man and man, that all of those cultures have to be accepted. So they were going to destroy the family nucleus. And a host of other things that so many people bought into. And as these things was going on, the Lord whispered into my ears and into my heart. And he said, you see the favor with which these people who are demanding this thing upon the nation. It was not only here in America, but 
of those doctors, even in Europe, there was massive demonstration, destruction of properties, violence everywhere. And the Lord said, you see the zeal and the fervency or the fervor to feed these people are cleansing and doing all these things, claiming that these are things that are standing in their ways, that they want the freedom to do what they want to do. And he said, my son, I don't see that amongst my children, that our cho his children don't have that favor in serving him, that this year, 2021, God wants you and I to awake unto righteousness and to sin not. Year 2021, God wants every one of us. I know many people are waiting and saying, Pastor Pimpo is going to say, in year 2021, COVID-19 will be over and we shall all be having fun and excitement and everything. No, that's not why I'm here. I am here to announce to every one of us that God is saying that he is looking forward to us, you and I, to awake unto righteousness, to awake unto righteousness, to awake unto righteousness, that Christians everywhere should awake unto what? Righteousness and sin not. And the acronym is Atrazim. Atrazim. And we have a card that everyone will have so that you can always keep it and know that God's word for you and I for 2021 is that we shall awake from our sleep. Hallelujah. We shall awake from what? Our sleep. We shall awake from our lukewarmness. We shall awake from our indifference. We have compromised for far too long with the world. Too many of us have compromised for far too long with the world. In year 2020, 2020 we find so many of us who call ourselves Christians going along with the world, compromising with the stand, to the extent that some even have come to accept the fact that there ought to be an abrogation of the nuclear, the family nuclear, that it is okay that a man can marry a man, a woman can marry a woman, that it's okay if one chooses to call himself a them, that they would refuse to use the pronoun he or she or his or him, and that they can call themselves a them, a gender neutralism, that they are neutral. All these things came with the woke culture. And so many of us bought into it to the extent that there were some even who were sacrificing their children, sent their children to the altar, an altar of uh, the priestess like Jezebel, in a church that have made themselves, call themselves a church, but actually there are people who are against, stuck against every ordinance that God has established. And so mothers thank their children there because they said their children are saying they are, the child is a boy, but the child says, I feel like I'm a girl. So the mother will take her, him, to that place and the woman, the woman will officiate, usher that person, officiate and usher that person into the family of boys when he, of girls, where the little boy say, he knows that he's a girl, a boy actually. So this has been going on. And in our schools, this was also encouraged to the extent that anybody who stood in their way, you are easily wiped off. That everyone was being forced and coerced to swallow the garbage. Hallelujah. And so many Christians bought into this and compromised. But God is calling upon us in year 2021. And as I stand on this parking lot, announcing to the city of Greensboro, to the county of Guilford, to the state of North Carolina, to the nation of America, and to the nations of the world, 
everywhere that the Christian is, God's clarion call is this, awake unto righteousness and sin not. It is those people who awake unto righteousness and sin not who are going to see the goodness of the Lord in year 2021. And when I talk about the goodness of the Lord, I am not talking about a million dollars, a thousand dollars, and all those monetary material things. I'm talking about the peace that passes all understanding. And the joy of the Lord that gives strength in spite of what goes around. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, that was read so beautifully by our brother Kutu. It says, now this communication, this discussion arose where there are, there are those who didn't think that Christ, when we die, we shall rise again. And there were those also who felt like the end time has already come. And so let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die. And that was the culture of year 2021 of most people. Let us eat and drink for tomorrow we will die. As if we are in a state where when we die, that is the end of it. Certainly it is the end of it for you if you live a life of sinfulness. Because the beginning will not be a good one in place you will be going to. Hallelujah. It will be the end of fun. Because in hell there is no fun. Hallelujah. But Paul in his word is saying that my beloved don't think that way. Rather, it says, awake unto righteousness. It is people who are sleeping in sin who think that way. It is people who are sitting in darkness who think that there is no life beyond this life. No, I'm not saying that we should take, spend billions of dollars, waste billions of dollars, and build aircraft to go to Mars. To see who is living there. No, that is not what we are talking about. You can go to Mars all you want, but my friend, I'm afraid of what you are going to encounter there. The Bible, God has established it in such a way that we shall all die. The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die, and after that, what? The judgment. So we shall all die. But there is a destination that every one of us has to go, and those destinations are two. One is called hell, and one is called heaven. Heaven is for those who awake unto righteousness and sin not. Are you with me? The place is too quiet for me. Hallelujah. Heaven is for those who awake unto righteousness and sin not. And hell is the place where for those who sleep in darkness and die in darkness. My prayer is this, that as we enter into year 2021, my beloved, may you be awakened unto righteousness, and may you see not. Hallelujah. May you purpose in your heart that you are going to break every covenant that you have made with compromise. Do you hear me? Every, every covenant that you have made with the word compromise, Wherewith you have compromised with sin and compromised with the culture of the world. Break that covenant because it will not help you. The year 2021 is a year of awakening because what happened in 2021 was a shock. A shock. God has to shake, shake the very foundation of his church. And we saw what happened. 31st night, 2019, the many lying prophets that showed up, and the whole of the year 20, 2019, and the, the years predating 2019, there was so much false prophecy, there was so much extortion, people making money, their idol and God, and that was what was being preached behind the pulpits. So, so many hearts were turned away from Jesus Christ and was turned onto material things. People began to think that Jesus Christ was a Santa Claus, that Jesus was a magician, that every every second he has to turn you into a millionaire. And so that was all people look at. People go to church because they feel like when they go to church they become millionaires. 
my beloved, that has to come to an end. 19, 2021 is a year of awakeness. That we shall awake of, out of unrighteousness. That we will have our minds renewed. We will change our minds. And begin to make Jesus Christ our all in all. That we will see Jesus Christ as the only one that we seek after. For the word of God says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be what? Added. He didn't say we should seek after money. But he didn't say that we should make humans our idols. He didn't say we should go and begin to preach, to, to, to worship prophets and worship pastors, wiping their shoes, wiping the sweat from their face while they are preaching, following their entourage, making them look like they are kings. That is not what God called us to do. He called us to follow Christ and Him crucified. And in year 2021, the Lord is saying, Awake unto righteousness. Awake unto righteousness. That we should stop playing hide and seek with God. Because we cannot hide from Him. We should stop making God look like a, a Father Christmas or a Santa Claus. Because God is neither of that. He's not a Santa Claus. He's not a Father Christmas. We should stop treating God as our co-equal. When we say, let us give God a high five. We don't give God a high five. We surrender our whole lives to him. He is calling upon us to awake unto righteousness. God is always faithful. He will carry us through year 2021. Certainly, God will carry us through year 2021. And I'll speak to those of you who will say, yes, Lord, I am going to awake from my unrighteousness. I will wake unto righteousness and I will not sin. To such individual, God is going to carry you. His promise is here and is an amen. It doesn't matter how high COVID-19 will spike, how high they will seek to make you and I feel like COVID-19 has muted itself or mutated itself and become even greater than how it was in 2020. God's promise is to every one of you who will awake out of unrighteousness and will awake to righteousness and will not sin. God says it doesn't matter how intense it is. He is the God who protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and he kept them from burning. He is the God who kept Daniel from being eaten up by the lion. He is the God who opened the door. When the prison doors were locked three times with chains that no human can open. And yet God unlocked it and brought Paul out of it. He is the God who unlocked the door and brought Peter out. That God, that same God who delivered them, he is giving you this assurance. This guarantee that if you are awake unto righteousness and sin not, he will protect you. He will shield you. He will guide you through year 2021. You will never lack. He will supply your every need. You will not go begging for bread. He will supply your every need. All he's asking you and I to do, awake unto righteousness and sin not. Break every covenant with compromise. Don't compromise with sin. And don't compromise with lies. Yield your all to Christ and walk with him. Don't walk in fear. Because the God that you and I serve has already overcome. He says, be of good cheer. For I have what? Overcome the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians. Turn with me to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14, it's a wonderful conversation that Paul was having with the Ephesian church. From verse 8, he says, For we were sometimes darkness, but now are we light in the Lord, walk as children of light. In year 2021, as we enter in, Purpose in your heart that as you awake unto righteousness and as you seek not to sin, you will also walk in the light. Hallelujah. It says, walk as children of the light. 
May we walk as children of the light. May we walk as children of the light. And how do we do that? By feeding on the word of God. By making sure that you don't sleep when you know that you are living in sin. That you daily confess your sins unto God and ask Him for cleansing from every sin that you have committed. That you never in a single day miss the reading of the word of God. That you prayerfully on your knees study God's word, God's word, feed your soul. Don't be that lazy Christian that you and I were in 2021. Purpose in your heart that in 2021, the word of God is going to be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. That you feed your soul with the word of God every day, every second. The word of God you will be something that you endear your heart to. And the people who do that will see the joy of the Lord. The joy that gives us strength. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good. The Lord is good. He said, For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. The fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. So now you can appreciate why the Lord says, awake to righteousness. Because righteousness is a fruit of the Lord. And he wants you and I to walk in righteousness. It's a proven what is acceptable unto the Lord. That you only approve the things that are acceptable unto the Lord, you and I. And I approve of only things that are acceptable unto the Lord. That you and I don't compromise for just crumbs of bread. So many of us sold our souls to the devil in 2020. We sold ourselves, our souls to money. We followed after mirages. The people who come and denounce Christ just because they have money, we compromise our stance and we follow them. God wants you and I to prove things that are acceptable. Amen. Things that are acceptable to God. In year 2021, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Go and read it and you'll see it there. Hallelujah. 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 God, it says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. In year 2021, purpose in your heart that I am not going to have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Hallelujah. In year 2021, purpose in your heart, I am not going to have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. It means that I am not going to be following prophets who are lying. Who prophet lie? Hallelujah. Don't follow and have fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness. It means that if you are the husband, be faithful to your husband. If you are the wife, be faithful to your wife. Don't go to marry pornography. Where you'll be watching things on the internet, online, to satisfy your sexual drives. That is fornication and adultery. That is unfruitful works of darkness. And I speak this to the shame of so many of people who call themselves pastors who indulge in this kind of things also. May you not fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness because though your wife may not see you and your husband may not see you and the church members may not see you, there is one who sees you. The Holy Spirit of God sees you. God Almighty sees you. Jesus Christ sees you. And that will not inure to your benefits. It will destroy you. So have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Hallelujah. It says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Did you hear that? 
Rather do what? Reprove them. And those of you who fear to reprove things. So many of us in 2020 were covering up. We speak behind the walls of our homes. And that's how far. When we come to the public place, we want to look so nice. And when you are so nice to see it, you become an accomplice to it. God's word says that not only should we have no fellowship with the things of darkness, but we should do what? Reprove them. So when Pastor Pimple stands here and reproves homosexuality, and reproves abortion, and reproves all those things, and some of you cringe, and you say, but you don't have to say that. Why shouldn't I say that when the Bible says it? Hallelujah. Whatever is in the word of God, I am supposed to speak it. Because not everybody has access to it. We are to reprove the unfruitful works of darkness. Fornication is the unfruitful work of darkness. Adultery is the unfruitful work of darkness. Lying, oppression, extortion, deception. They are all unfruitful works of darkness. Murder, hatred, gossiping. These are all unfruitful works of darkness. You and I cannot be too nice because none of us is nicer than God who put it in his word. Hallelujah. We are to reprove the unfruitful works of darkness. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. It says, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. It is a shame. Did you hear that? The things that they do in secret, it is a shame. Man and man, woman and woman, and those who do the strip dancing, choir members, they are choir members on Sunday, and they are strip dancers on Saturday night, exposing themselves, selling their bodies to make money. And when you ask them, they say, it is my own body. It is not your body. It is the body of the living God. It is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you have no right to destroy that temple. God says anyone who destroys that temple, he will destroy. Hallelujah. And the things that they do in secret, the Bible says it's a shame to talk about it. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. Hello? All things that are reproved are made manifest by what? How many of you know cockroaches? Amen. Cockroaches love darkness. And the moment you turn the light on, oh my, you see how they scatter. And there are some of us who are act like cockroaches. We love to, we are like nocturnal human beings. Daytime we are smiling. But at night we are doing things that we think we are hiding from all persons, but we know that God sees. God sees all things. 2021, the Lord is saying, stop doing that. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Wherefore, he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. It is only those who sleep in sin who grope in the dark like cockroaches. But you are not a cockroach. You are one that has been redeemed. And you have to walk in the light. It's a word for himself. Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. When you are sleeping in sin, you are just as if you are dead. But God is saying, awake from your sleep and arise from the dead. And when you do that, Christ shall give you light. It is my prayer, year 2021, the Lord will give all of us, Christ will give all of us light because we shall awake from our sleep and we shall rise from our dead and Christ will give us light. 
And we shall enjoy year 2021 in spite of COVID-19. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? We shall enjoy 2021 in spite of COVID-19. Auntie Maggie, we shall enjoy COVID-19 year 2021 in spite of what? Your business will flourish in spite of COVID-19. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your children will flourish in spite of COVID-19. Hallelujah. But you and I have to arise. Awake. Awake from our sleep. And arise from the dead. So that Jesus Christ will give us light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you love the Lord? Don't you love the Lord? Is this word too much for you that you don't want to even clap unto the Lord? For him to tell you the things that you and I have to do to be able to go through 2021 walking in his joy and in his victory. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I will conclude with Romans. The book of Romans chapter 13. And after that, I'm going to anoint every one of you who is here because that is the direction of the Lord. That every one of us will be anointed with his oil. When you are anointed, it means you are set apart. Hallelujah. God has set you apart for himself. In Romans chapter 13, hallelujah. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 13, it says, Oh no man, in verse, listen, in 2020, Oh no man, anything. And the one thing that the Lord wants me to tell every one of us, that we should know, we should all know man on forgiveness. Do you hear me? Oh no man, on forgiveness. Don't enter into year 2021 holding grudge against anybody. Don't owe anybody unforgiveness. Forgive all who you are holding up against in 2020. Hallelujah. As we make our entry into year 2021, purpose in your heart, that is part of awakening. That you are waking unto righteousness. You are realizing the fact that holding grudges is sinful. It's not pleasing unto God. God wants you to love your enemy. 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 He wants us to love our enemies. Forgive them. And if you are living in irreconciliation, be you reconciled in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh no man anything but to love one another. Hallelujah. Oh no man anything but to love one another. So now you understand that what I am saying. That the one thing that you and I should make sure we owe, we don't owe anybody is on what? Forgiveness. Hallelujah. Make sure that you are forgiven all who you have ought against. Because that is the fruit of awakening out of unrighteousness unto righteousness. But we should love one another. For he that loves another has fulfilled the law. The year of 2021 is a year when your heart should be as clean, as clear as the clearest glass. Hallelujah. Your heart should be as clear, clearer than the clearest glass. Transparency. That your love is so real, genuine love for your neighbor. Hallelujah. A year where you forgive. Forgive your ardent enemy, the arch enemy. And I'm not talking about Satan. You can't forgive Satan. We can't. For him, no. He's our enemy. He's an avowed enemy. 
But you forgive your fellow human being. Yes, Satan uses them. But always rebuke that spirit behind that person. Remember the story of Peter. Jesus told them that he must go to Jerusalem and will be crucified. And Peter said, no, 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 Lord, no. Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. He wasn't speaking to Peter. He was speaking to the devil who is speaking through him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So see your fellow human being as a human being whom Satan is using. So rebuke that devil. But love your fellow human being. Forgive your fellow human being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, no man, nothing but to love. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy completed for me thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy and i want to see it written on youtube those of you on youtube write it so i can know that you are with me thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy conclude it for me write it I will, i'm going to look at all those who wrote it for me and those on facebook also thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy then you write thyself for me write it as thyself Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy. Yeah. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy. Yeah. In 2021, God wants you and I to love our neighbors as ourselves. And that means that if you will not take a knife to cut yourself, don't take the knife to cut your neighbor. If you will not gossip, if you don't want others to gossip about you, don't gossip about others. Hallelujah. If you don't want others to lie on you, don't lie on others. Don't lie about others. If you don't want anybody to abuse your children, don't abuse other, abuse other people's children. If you don't want your property to be violated, don't violate somebody else's property. It is as easy, it's as simple as that. Love your neighbor as yourself. And who is your neighbor? Everyone in this world is your neighbor. Hallelujah. Your neighbor is not the person living next door to you alone. Your neighbor is every human being you meet in the street is your neighbor. Hallelujah. Every human being. If you are black, the white man is your neighbor. If you are white, the black man is your neighbor. If you are green, the yellow man and the others are your neighbor. All human beings are your neighbors. Hallelujah. Don't let Satan deceive you into thinking that your neighbor is the person, the only person close by. No, 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 no. Your neighbor is everybody. Every human being on earth is your neighbor. And so you want to love all human beings as you love yourself. Hallelujah. And treat everyone the way you want them to treat you in year 2021. And then you see how good the Lord is. What does it mean? See the good in every person. Hallelujah. See nothing but goodness in everybody. Hallelujah. If you don't want somebody to say that you are so so and so, don't say that somebody is also the same. Don't call anybody a name that you don't want to be called. That's what the Lord is saying. This year, 2021, 2020 saw us calling people by so many names. I've never seen names, new words. Sister Kamala, Names, Miso So Journey. I don't know where those names came from. All these kind of names are flying in the air. Human beings are being called that. 
And the strangest thing is that the same people who are calling others the same are the same themselves exhibiting the same thing. When a woman refuses to love a man, except for her, she wants to marry a, a woman because she doesn't see it is the means that you don't care for what God says. You hate that man, is that right? So it, it is the same. And the same people are calling other people the same name. My friend, don't call somebody a name you don't want to be called. Let us awake out of our hypocrisies. In year 2020, we lived in hypocrisy. There was so much hypocrisy. And if God were to give seek power to pastor people for one second, I would have killed everybody. But thank God that pastor people is not God. Hallelujah. That God is so loving that he extended grace to all of us. That he did not mark our iniquity. Because he could have snapped our heads off. But he didn't do that. In spite of the ways that you and I conducted our lives in 2020. But God is calling us to arise. 2021, awake and repent and turn unto righteousness and sin not. Stop calling people fools and stop calling people morons. Those are not right words to be used for a human being created in God's own image. If you don't want to be called a moron, don't call somebody a moron. Hallelujah. If you don't want to be called a fool, don't call anybody a fool. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Those insulting words might be kept out of your mouth. If you are awake to righteousness, don't sin. Hallelujah. Because 2021, God wants you and I to be real in our walk with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you all with me? Yes. It said, love works no ill. Did you hear that? Love works no ill. Well, love does not think evil about anybody. Can you imagine how many people go to sleep thinking about if, what to do, the evil to visit upon fellow human beings, and still profess to love? How can you love? Doing something like that. We declare war on nations and we say it is in the name of love. Killing innocent little children who have done us nothing. Dropping bombs from the sky. Killing people. And we rejoice at that. And we celebrate that. No. Love worketh no ill. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 18, God demonstrated that love. God could have easily unleashed his weapons upon the earth because of the sinful of, sinfulness of man. Read the whole of chapter 1, and you see how men were just so sinful that God described their sin as putrefying souls. And yet God said, this is what God says. Come. God is demonstrating his love. I want to demonstrate it somewhere. When I call you, come. You come. Could you let me let, be, be like, let me, allow me to be God today. Bring the chair over there. I can call with you because we cannot be, we don't have to be six foot apart. He's my son. We live in the same house. So, could you, you are, let me sit on this one, because I know you allow me to be comfortable. You can bring the chair. And so this is God. Please, don't think I am God. Though. Because I'm wearing white, white, it doesn't make me God. Please, I'm not. I'm just acting. Hallelujah. Allow me for one second. Lest anybody will say, Pastor Pimpo said he is God. I'm not. God said, come and let us Raising together. Can you imagine? The love that God has. It says, come and let us what? Raising together. 
May year 2021 be the year when you will be able to invite your ardent enemy and say, please come and let us what? Reason together. God says, come and let us what? He said, come. He didn't say you stay far, too far away. Too, you are too far away. 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 Hey, you play the drum. It's a, a song we are playing. You are too far away. You are too far away. Hallelujah. He said, come and let us what? So bring your head. Come and let us what? Can you imagine? God who created me is saying that that's a ping pong. So come and let us what? Reason together. Such a humility. Do we see that today? People feel like they are organ. So somebody has to do what he tells him to do. And if he doesn't do it, you will kill him. But no, 2021, God wants us to come and let us what? Come and let us what? And he says, if your sins be what? As scarlet, by you coming and letting us reason together, they shall be as white as what? Snow. And if they be as crimson, by you coming and letting us reason together, they shall be as what? Wool. That is what God wants us to do. Thank you for allowing me to put my head on your head. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, that's what God says. He said, love does not think evil about anybody. Love rather says, come and let us all reason together. Love is willing to reason. Love is willing to forgive. Love is willing to forgive. And love is willing to reconcile. Hello? Love is willing to do what? Reconcile. Amen. Love is willing to what? Antibaki, love is willing to what? Reconcile. Reconcile. Somebody will say, well, I forgive, but I cannot reconcile. Do you know how you and I stink in the eyes of God? Our sinfulness, and yet God is willing to reconcile with us. So my beloved, you are no better than God. Learn to live in reconciliation. 2020 should be a year of awakening for that, from that darkness unto righteousness and living in reconciliation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Amen. Brother, is that what the Lord is saying? Amen. Love is the fulfilling of the law. My beloved, in year 2021, may we awake to righteousness and sin not. May we have real love one for another. May we not be stabbing each other in the back. May we, you know so many people who are walking around with stab wounds in their back because of you and because of me. We have used our team to bite the back of many people. You see the word backbiting? will bite, bite the back of many people. So they are walking with sore wounds all over their back. Those wounds can only be seen by the Lord. My beloved, determine that this year, 2021, you will not be a backbiter. Hallelujah. Because you don't want others to bite your back, you will not bite somebody's back. You will not be a backbiter. Hallelujah. You will love because love is the fulfillment of the law. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. We'll make it through. Amen. Amen. We have gotten to the place where I want you all to sit up. Verse 11. I know you are sitting in the darkness. You cannot see clearly, but others perhaps you can see. But verse 11 is saying this. And those of you on Facebook and YouTube, verse 11. It says, and that, 
knowing the time. Do you hear what he's saying? What? Do you hear what he's saying? He said, knowing what? Knowing what? Knowing the time. If you are there on Facebook and YouTube and you heard what I say, I said, why don't you finish it up with me with the word time? Knowing the time. If you can write that, write it so I can know that you are with me. Knowing the time. And my beloved, those of you on Facebook and YouTube, this message has to be shared. Let the Holy Spirit of God lead you to share this word. Because the whole world must hear what God wants us to do in 2021. We are to awake to righteousness and sin not. It is not about money. It is not about everything is going to be okay. It's about how are you going to present yourself unto God. And it is to awake to righteousness and see not. He says, knowing that now is the time. Now is what? He says, and that knowing the time. That now it is high time. <laughs> and that knowing the time. Knowing the time, which is the time that is there, but there is what a high what it is a high time, it is a sense of agency that you need to urgently. When it's a high time, it's not something like waking up, it is about time. Hallelujah! Knowing that now. Knowing the time, that it is high time, hallelujah, it is high time, we might sing a song out of this song. The Lord will give me a song, hallelujah. That it is a high time to do what? Awake. It is high time to do what? Awake, to wake up. For Christians everywhere to awake. We've been sleeping too much. The woke culture in 2020, we're out in the streets, pulling down structures. They were so vehement, zealous about what we were doing, burning down shops, destroying properties, maiming people, killing. In Arabs, you know, rebellion. They were even willing to die for their cause. Tonight, God is calling upon us as we enter the 2021. He wants you and I to perform all the things that he has listed in the book of Colossians chapter 3. I cannot name them all, but every one of you, read them. Wherever you are, hear my message. The things that God wants you to apply zeal and favor, to pull down from your life. It says if we be dead to the, to the things of this world, let us set our affections on things above. And it tells us of things to destroy, to pull down. May you and I begin to pull them down out of our lives. Pull them down. They are all in Colossians chapter 3, the book of Colossians chapter 3. God wants us, a people who have the heavenly woke culture, the heavenly woke culture, who are awake to righteousness and who sin not, who break down all those structures that are in their lives, that are keeping them from pleasing God. Those things are the things that will stand in your way. But begin to break them now and refuse to enter into 2021 with them. Awake to righteousness and see not. He said it's high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. Can you imagine that? Now is our salvation nearer. We thought 
thought we've been saved. But yes, we've been washed in the blood. That is why we are always admonished to walk in righteousness. The final salvation will come when Jesus Christ comes to take us. When we find ourselves caught up with him, then we know indeed we have been saved. Hallelujah. He said that salvation is nearer. It could be a second from now. It could be tomorrow. It could be whatever. I'm not going to give you a date because that will make me a false prophet because no man knows the date or the hour. But the word of God is saying that now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. And because of that, we have to awake. We have to do what? Awake. May we awake. May we do what? Awake. Hallelujah. He said it is high time for us to awake. For our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. May we awake. When we enter into 2021, a people who are wild awake unto righteousness, unto holiness, unto purity, unto truth, a people whose hearts are not set on material things, a people who are not gullible to false prophets, who are only interested in your material things, and so will tell you what you want to hear. It is high time we awake unto righteousness and unto holiness. For Jesus Christ stands ready to give us light. Our salvation is nearer than what we first believe. The Bible tells us that in these last days, iniquity shall abound and the love of many for Christ will grow cold. That includes 2021. Sin will increase. Sin will increase, but the sons of God, the sons of light, will awake unto righteousness and will not sin. The sons of righteousness will abide faithful with their Savior and will not compromise with the darkness of this world. May you and I be those people who will stand and represent Jesus Christ in year 2021, who will reprove the unfruitful works of darkness and hold out the things of holiness and letting the whole world see and wonder about us and say, these people are different and we can tell them that it is Jesus Christ and him crucified who is our Lord and Savior and who has made us what we are. Hallelujah. 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 The vision 2021 is what I have just preached to all of us. And the Lord had me to put it down on paper. Unlike that gentleman on 31st December 2019 who said he has written this on paper, he's not going to announce it, but it's available for 100 naira. No, no, we don't sell it. It is God's word, it is free. Everyone is going to have it and you keep it by yourself. The year 2021, ANEC UCCI Vision 220, 2021, Atrazi, awake to righteousness and see not. Awake to righteousness and see not. You carry this in your pocket. You carry this in your wallet as a reminder of the, of the, of the commitment you have made to the Lord that you want to walk in righteousness. And as you do that, my beloved, watch God go to bat for you. He will never let you down. God will never let you down. He will never let you down. He will never let you down. He will never. Hallelujah. He will never. He will never. The word of God is quick. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is sharper than in a two-edged sword. Oh, the word of God is quick. 
We are flesh and blood. It is only he who has give, can give us the grace to do what he has asked us to do. So we are asking him to give grace to the nations, to everyone, everywhere. And we'll be able to live up to this vision. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Manche mi amanche. Blema tessa. Yuda jata. Eko teni wapasa. Na kwe ni wani uchuo na kwe ni chumwe. Ube ji na kwe. O ingo fwo shi di majiko je fe no. O na nibi fe ni ya no yeho a te mo he fe. O na nibi fe ni ya no he fe ni cho. O ni o fono fi ya no. Yeho a. On fwo o chebo. Yeho a on fwo o chebo. One back a book of our in a crack, a whore. Over in a cry, a magical Jeff Fenno. Over so much here, your whore. In my Jeff Fenno, you are Tishi. Can't you ever warn me? I make up to tell them me. Namen ye, Jalena, your whore. The Jesu Christ to tell me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thou whose eyes run to and fro the four corners of the world, beholding the deeds of many. And show yourself mighty in the behalf of those who love and fear you. Your eyes searches and sees everything in the corners, every corner of this earth. It is you who have spoken to your servant that 2021 should be the year when all believers awake unto righteousness, when all mankind awake unto righteousness and sin not, and you will give life or the light unto all. I pray for grace for all of mankind. I pray for especially those who have put their faith and trust in you, who profess to be Christians, that God will give them the grace to wake, all of us the grace to awake to righteousness and to sin not, that we all know man nothing, that we all know man unforgiveness, forgiveness, that we're willing to forgive, that we'll live in love and walk in love, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, help us. My Father, help us. Help us in the name of Jesus, every Christian. I pray that you have mercy and forgive all of us who have lived and walked in sin and darkness this whole year 2020. Have mercy and forgive and deliver all in the name of Jesus. Bury everyone in the blood of Jesus Christ and sanctify them all wholly unto thyself and cause us all to awake to righteousness and sin not in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 And the saints of God which I say, Amen. Amen. And what we're going to do, we're going to start from the far end. We shall come, we shall come in line, observing the six foot uh, distance. And when you come, you receive your anointing. And you are going to be anointed not for the sake of anointing. This oil that we are going to anoint, we are going to anoint you, setting you apart unto the Lord. And so you are being sanctified, set apart unto the Lord. And you are saying that, Lord, from today forward, I am going to live for you and only you. Amen. It makes no sense to be anointed and go back and live in sin. Hallelujah. The anointing oil says that you are being set apart unto the Lord. And so Psalm 91 becomes your portion. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 31 says that the goodness of the Lord, that the Lord will bring you and hide you in the secret place by his side. And that is exactly what we are doing. Setting you apart to be hidden in that secret place of the Lord and you enjoy the goodness of the Lord in that place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you anoint this oil for the purpose of the anointing of your children. For every forehead that this oil is applied, we set that individual apart unto you, O God. In year 2021, this individual is purposed to awake to righteousness and not sin. 
and to walk in the ways of the Lord. And so may it be. Father, bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
From Tuesday, since Tuesday, by the grace of God, we have been before the Lord. And I believe most of you without food or without water. We've been fed with the manna from on high and the water from on high. God's anointing has sustained us. And it has come to the place where the Lord will have you and I to open and to go and eat. But please, not eating, eating. Because for three days, without food and water, you need to start it slow. Or you can taste something. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless all of you. Yes. Because as you fasted, you didn't fast for Pastor Pimpong. No. You fasted for yourself yes. to seek your, the face of God, yes. to draw closer to Him. We fasted so we may seek the direction from God. And God did answer us by giving us instruction as to how He wants us to live in 2021. The message God gave us is atrazin, awake to righteousness and sin not. Don't let these three days of consecration go in vain. Hallelujah. Don't let it go in vain. Live in the full benefits and the grace that God has given to you and I. The blessing is immense. The anointing is immense. You will not wear it on your sleeve but it will be a reflection in your life that the people of the world will see that indeed you have been visited by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless every one of us. This is not the end of the service. For the purpose of abiding by the Lord, the curfew requires that at 10 o'clock everybody is home. I thank God that all of you were here from 5 o'clock and to this time, I don't know what time it is. It's almost nine o'clock, that's about four hours that you have stayed in the presence of God. May the God reward you so greatly. Yes. And those of you by faith on Facebook and YouTube, the patience you have shown in abiding faithfully with us. You are sharing it and letting it go all over the world for people to hear what God has to say. It's a great blessing and we thank God for all of you. May the Lord bless all of you also. Hallelujah. Yay. It is our prayer that year 2021 will be what God says is going to be yes. as you and I do what God wants us to do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. May year 2021 be what God wants it to be for you yes. as you and I do what God says we should do. Awaken from unrighteousness to righteousness and sinning not. Those who do that will enjoy the great blessings of God. Not blessings as the world sees, but the blessings that heaven sees and calls blessings indeed. The Bible says that the blessings of the Lord, it makes us rich. It makes us spiritually what? Rich. It fills our heart with joy, peace that passes our understanding, and it has no sorrow. That is the blessing God is going to cause you and I to inherit as we awake to righteousness and sin not. Hallelujah. As we awake to righteousness and sin not. Amen. Amen. You've done it again, Jesus. You've done it again. You've carried us through another year safely.
Amen. 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 